Hello, howdy, and welcome back to the channel. This is Matthew Pizgatti. I have an update for you regarding stake protocol. Now, we were talking about the King's Riches previously, which is essentially a lottery type of system where you select numbers and symbols, and then you check your tickets, and you see what your prizes are. And that runs once a day, which is, uh, which is pretty fun. Um, there's always a little good bit of prizes in there. And the tickets aren't aren't that uh, aren't that expensive. Those are only what? Let's see. Yeah, four BUSD a piece right now, so not bad. Uh, they did just add a new type of lottery or a scratch off, I should say, called Lucky Stake. So I'm over here on the Lucky Stake side of things, and this is a new a new feature they just added. You know, Drip and some of these other ecosystems have been talking about rolling out some type of scratch off. Drip's been talking about Scratchy for a while, been talking about Lottery. A lot of those things haven't really happened, so even though we're excited for those things from the other ecosystems that may be our favorites, um, it's cool to actually see these features rolling out with other protocols that I, I do trust and enjoy being a part of. So all that being said, we're over here on Lucky Stake. Um, I'll probably win nothing, but I just wanted to go ahead and demonstrate how this works. So you'll buy your tickets here. There's a Knights of Fortune and a Lost Treasure scratch-off. So there's two different types of scratch-off cards. Uh, the Lost Treasure has a little uh, more as far as the prizes that are available. You, the, the base level is 20 stake, and then 40 BUSD, 20 stake, 200 BUSD, or 400 BUSD. And then uh, there's a, obviously this ultimate prize that's quite a bit higher. So everything's a little lower on this side, on the Knights of Fortune. It's only $10 for a ticket, um, but the rewards are slightly less. So I went ahead and just did two of the Knights of Fortune tickets. I went ahead and bought those. Now you also, if you'll read through the rules here, you got to match three items to win. And after your first buy, you receive a referral code. So I'll throw that in the description just so you have it. Uh, the reason you want to use that, use somebody's referral code, is that you do get 10% off the bot amount. Um, and then I get 10% as well. So you get a discount for your first purchase and I get 10% of that um, for referring you over here. So that's pretty sweet. You can share that around to your friends and your groups. Uh, make sure you keep your referral code after you purchase. I don't know if it stays here. The way they made it sound is if it disappears after I play the first time. I'm sure that's not the case. They could reword that slightly better, perhaps. Um, also, shout out to their team. I love these little Knights clip arts. Uh, I always save these PNGs off, usually, so that I can use them for something in uh, Telegram chats and elsewhere, or uh, for video clip, uh, video thumbnails and the like. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my Knights of Fortune. I'm going to do my scratch-off, see if I win anything. Um, and again, as always, it goes without saying, not financial advice. So you do what you want with your funds, but... Uh, I am playing this fun little game here. Oh, they gave me one little crown to tease me. I got some dice. Dice. Let's see if we uh, match anything here. Got a couple crowns. Now I either have to get a horse guy or another crown. Aw, oh, man. Nope, nothing this time. All right, I have one more ticket. Let's see what happens. And this is the fun of scratch-offs, right? Scratch-offs and lotteries. I mean, sometimes you uh, you lose uh, 10 times in a row. Sometimes you win really big. And uh, you never know which way it's going to go. Oh, looks like I can just click. Is this a button? I was hoping that would be a button. That would just uh, clear them all off the board. But oh, okay, all right. So I got uh, $10 in stake on that one. So I have $10 in stake, and they know what's going to happen with that is they give out the stake. Um, you're probably going to come over here, and you're oftentimes going to deposit it, right? Because you have it, and you might as well. I actually have 30 in the wallet for some reason. I think that was from previous tradings. So I'm going to throw my stake in there. So that's how, uh, how both of these go. You know, we have the King's Riches, and then we have the Lucky Stake. Now, depending on how many people are participating and what's been going on, you'll see these numbers fluctuate, of course. Um, at least that's one thing with the scratch-off, is you'll probably see the rewards stay, as far as I know, the same. They're not going to be changing those on the fly or, or live, whereas every day you come to play the King's Riches, the, uh, the lottery, the one where you choose numbers, 
you might see this uh, ultimate prize be you know kind of fluctuating different amounts depending on what's going on in the system. Um, the King's Riches as well, a reminder that it does benefit the stake ecosystem if you're in here. Tokens get burnt if the uh, pool grows over 10% of the initial pool. So whatever they start off on, stuff start off at. If uh, the ticket sales from that bring them over 10% of the initial pool, then they burn, which of course helps the uh, overall price action of stake. Now stake has promised a few other features coming out. I know the treasury is still grayed out here, so that's coming. And they apparently have a few other things coming down the pipeline. They've just not received as much hype. You know, as far as I can tell, that's the only real difference between a lot of these projects is, you know, this has enough unique features that it sets it apart from Drip, even though the faucet is at its core very similar to Drip. You can get up to 3% a day versus the 1% a day. And, uh, you know, the foundation is very similar to the Drip re Reservoir. So there's a lot of similarities, but I think it just doesn't have the same community boost behind it. Uh, they really need to up their marketing. Um you know, whatever Drip is doing to be successful. Obviously, something just has to catch on and you get enough people participating. Uh, but when they already in, are already in one ecosystem that's paying out well, uh, a lot of people are hesitant to try other things or kind of hedge their bets and, and jump into a few different ones. So uh, that's what I, I assume is going on. Um, the price hasn't bottomed out. It is a, a good bit lower than it, than it was when I got in. Um, but with all the compounding and the averaging I've been doing for the dollar cost averaging, I've actually, you know, come out really well on, on top here. Um, I'm getting a good little amount that I could claim, but I just keep compounding for now, and I'm going to see where this goes. I have way more stake um, than I do <laughs> um, uh, drip, even though I am still building my my drip empire as well. I think I've only got about 100 in here. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to do both, you know, and I'm also playing the animal farm, throwing some pigs in there. But yeah, there's a lot of a lot of cool features coming out in some of these ecosystems. And if you if you just hop in, you dip a toe in, you see if you like it, see if you don't. You know, go to the Telegram, see if the devs seem cool, uh, see if anyone's talking about anything scammy or anything they they see or uh, have noticed that would throw you off. And if you don't see any of that, any negatives, then you know sometimes it's worth to to hedge the bets on a few different projects rather than all eggs in one basket type of thing. Especially with the delays we've seen with Drip, um, uh, that's the next drip the animal farm ecosystem the drip ecosystem uh animal farm is supposed to go live october 18th uh, which is my birthday so putting that personal information out there on the internet is always a great idea i hear so that's my little birthday present to me the animal farm's going to kick off and I, I wish all of us the best uh once that unpauses let's hope for no more hiccups let's hope that the animal farm soars off the damn tracks and that takes uh, drip with it. Let's all, you know, the train will grow some wings. We'll fly up into the stratosphere. That's what we want to see, right? So we're all excited for that. But in the meantime, lucky steak, scratch off with steak, king's riches, lottery with steak. Uh, a lot of good opportunities there for you to win these prizes. Um, and again, the EMP, EMP money, EMP detonator. That's another great one as well. Uh, that every day, you know, is, uh, is doing its thing. And uh, if you can get in there... If you can get enough tickets that you can increase your odds, uh, Rex, the lottery is still going, well, the auction is going on for the next 130 days. If you meet the bare minimum requirements on that, you have a chance to win um, your investment back every single day. Um, so that's pretty sweet. There's a lot of cool uh, cool projects out there. You know, it's worth, worth hedging your bets a little, worth throwing some money around. But again, that's your funds. Um, not my business, what you do with your funds and where you invest, not financial advice. Hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. See you on the flip side. Thanks.